Well, earlier I spoke to Raghi Omar, who's from Somalia and presents the Al Jazeera program Witness. Now, earlier you might have heard Andrew Simmons end his report by asking whether or not uh, the death of the fighter would bring any peace uh, to Somalia. And that's where I started with Raghi, asking him what will bring peace to Somalia. All the things that just people do not see there at the moment, a stable and viable government that, you know, the Somali people accept, an absence of um, uh, violence and the rule of law, and also an international community that is prepared to really spend the money, not so much on, you know, propping up, you know, this or that faction or that government on, on weapons, but on real development. I mean, Somalia is at the bottom of virtually every sort of indices of, you know, child mortality, length of war. It is the byword for a collapsed and failed state. But the Americans, of course, believe that the building blocks are there at the moment in the form of the transitional federal government who they are adamant they're going to support to the hilt against al-Shabaab. The United States faces a horrible dilemma that it itself has created in Somalia. It helped to overthrow the Union of Islamic Courts by backing the Ethiopian invasion at the end of 2006. Um, in doing so, created a more radical version of uh, an Islamist movement in the form of al-Shabaab. And now, by attacking al-Shabaab, which is linked to al-Qaeda uh, uh, openly, I mean, al-Shabaab al makes no bones about that, it is proving the very argument that al-Shabaab is saying, which is that this is an American and Western crusade in Somalia to prop up a Western-backed government. So when you attack al-Shabaab, you prove its point, And that is the catch-22 for the United States.